Hey everyone, uh, so this is my review on Dunkirk. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, it's the war movie, and sorry about the noise in the background, it's just my fan because it's kind of hot, so anyways. Um, overall, storyline, start to finish, great movie. Um, really, they kind of ended it on a open-ended ending, ending in a way, because, and this is spoiler alert, uh, Tom uh, Hardy's character ends up getting kidnapped, or not kidnapped, but ends up uh, landing on the wrong side of the war and ends up most likely being thrown into uh, a workman camp or jail or something like that. And um, kind of makes me think are they going to do a second one? Because they kind of left it open for that possibility. Which, don't get me wrong, if they wanted to, they could. Because, well, I assume it did really well in the box office. Um, so, for those that are somewhat confused at the beginning, there's three different storylines that merge into one. There's day one, hour one, and week one. Uh, and you'll understand why they did it that way as the movie goes on. So overall, as far as I can tell, I don't. It doesn't look like they actually did much in the way of like, far, or much in the way of like special effects. I mean, there were a little bit of special effects cause they had to, but I would say like a good like eighty to nine percent of the actual film was uh, not special effects, which I I love actually. I think the less special effects, the better in my opinion because. With some movies, not all movies, some movies, it just feels like uh, it's being overdone and that there are probably ways that they could have gone away with it without actually having to do with special effects. But maybe special effects are cheaper, I don't know. I'm not in the movie business, so I wouldn't be able to tell you, or TV business or whatever. So, um, overall, I would say, really great movie. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm probably not going to actually go and buy or go online and buy this, but it's a good, at least a good movie to like check out in movie theaters. Uh, also, it's probably good to, uh, I've been told uh, it's really good to see it in IMAX, so check that out there. Um, if you're a One Direction fan, according to from what I could tell, Harry Styles is in it. You might not be able to check uh, and uh, figure out that it's him right away because his hairstyle is different. But once you see his face, you'll know who he is. So, uh, overall, great movie. I suggest to go see it in theaters. And uh, whenever you watch this, good afternoon, good evening, good night, and goodbye.